West Palm Beach, Florida CNN. Within days, former president did something he rarely does. Trump called the former employee on his cell phone and asked why he was leaving after working at resort for two decades. According to two sources and material seen by CNN, the employee told the former president that he had another job opportunity he wanted to pursue. Later, the former employee received a message that Trump thought he was a good man. But he wasn't just any employee at club. The former employee was a witness in several episodes of special counsel Jack Smith, who was included in the federal criminal indictment accusing former president of mishandling classified documents. June indictment. The interactions included offers of legal representation from lawyers paid for by Trump and free tickets to a golf tournament, as well as repeated reminders that she could return to work for Trump. Donald Trump and his deputy Walt Nauda arrive at the airport after Trump's speech at the Georgia Republican Party's state convention on Saturday, June 10, 2023 in Columbus, Georgia. Javin Botsford Washington Post taken together. The events can be innocuous. Even polite exchanges between friends or business contacts. But the special prosecutor's office investigating Trump showed interest in them. Many of the interactions were previously unreported and none were referenced in the criminal indictments. But they underscore a low-profile approach that Trump has long used to keep tabs on allies former partners in business and politics. Prosecutors' defense attorneys are still watching as Trump's trials approach. A series of interactions the former staffer was particularly close to de Oliveira. And most of the interactions were with the longtime friend who remains loyal to Trump. The former president is paying for de Oliveira's lawyer. According to public records, one of the sources said it was de Oliveira who passed the former employee's phone number to Trump as he was leaving. Lawyers for the former employee and Trump and a spokesman for the special counsel also declined to comment. In early 2023, the former employee found his own lawyer and rightfully suspected he might be subpoenaed by federal investigators examining the classified documents case. Sources said. At the time, he was still in frequent contact with de Oliveira, who brought up that the former employee did not use a Trump-provided lawyer and noted how expensive a non-Trump lawyer could be. Rowley asked the employee to call him, but the employee never called back. The New York Times had previously announced the existence of this voice message to the public. Rowley said in an interview with the newspaper in September that he was trying to help witnesses if they needed a lawyer and was not trying to influence testimony. In general, companies can find and pay lawyers if lower-level employees are detained as witnesses in an investigation. And this does not necessarily mean that ethics have been compromised. Chandon K.